Today on Made to Hack, I salvage useful parts from old printers. I begin with this old inkjet printer. I remove the paper tray and the back paper holder. I then start taking apart the printer to get to the insides. A simple Phillips screwdriver is all that is needed to take apart most of the printer. This wheel is full of old printer ink. That's why it probably costs a fortune. It gets wasted in this area here. After taking everything out of the plastic shell, I further disassemble the components. These are all the useful parts from the inkjet printer. I keep the cartridge head assembly as well as the paper feeder as one piece. There are two motors that I can salvage, as well as a whole bunch of useful gears. There is a 30 volt switch mode power supply that can be useful in the future. There's the control board. There are a few limit switches. some plastic rollers, a whole bunch of screws and springs. Taking apart this old laser printer goes much the same way. I begin by removing the paper tray.
and taking apart the plastic shell. The laser printer is significantly more complex than the inkjet printer. The components also seem to be of much higher quality. This is quite a complex gear assembly. This is the toner fuser assembly. There's also a 24 volt fan. There's another switch mode power supply, which I gather is also 24 volts or thereabouts. There are a whole bunch of gears again. As before, there are tons of screws and springs. There are two control boards this time some touch switches and LEDs, and there's the stepper motor which I was really looking forward to get, as well as this whole entire gear assembly. 
The stepper motor is probably the most useful part salvaged. There's also some optical encoders. There are these solenoid coils. And yet again, more steel shafts and plastic rollers. There is also the toner and the drum kit that can be salvaged. This is the laser and prism assembly. So if you have old printers lying around at home that you can no longer use, try to see what useful parts you can salvage out of them. You'll never know when you'll need to use them in a future CNC or 3D printer project. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing. I regularly put out new videos, so stay tuned for more. You can also find Made to Hack on the web and on social media.